What's going on everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to the channel for a Tower Defense Tuesday look at Lil Sherman. Lil Sherman is from the husband and wife development team at Dabster Entertainment, and it's one of the newest indie tower defense games to hit Steam, just launching on February 19th of 2020. Now, the game is cute, the game is super fun, one game thing that the game is not is it does not have a ton of depth that it appears, and it feels like the game will be over as far as replay value very, very quickly. Now, with that being said, I haven't played through the game, I haven't given it a fair look yet, but just taking a look at what I do see. Now, as I mentioned, the game is very, very fun to play. Uh, we're going to get into a match here in just a moment. And it is all of the art and the animation and just the art style in general is very cute and fun to look at. Uh, as you see right here on our main interface, though, we've got missions, which are like a campaign type thing. And then we've got endless mode, which obviously is endless mode. Now, as far as missions go, there's only four different zones. So only four missions to go through. Now that right off the uh, right out of the gates just feels a little bit underwhelming. Uh, only having four maps to go through. I feel like if I rushed, I would be done with the game a little bit too quick. Now looking through at the various RPG and customization elements, uh, as you see here, we've got engine and engine is going to allow us to choose from different engine types. You can upgrade each engine type and you can buy the new engine types by spending your experience points. If you look in the top right hand corner here, the purple question mark is the experience I have saved up. So say I wanted to buy the big Vroom Vroom engine for 350 horsepower, it would cost 25 experience and then I have that unlocked. Now, in addition to that, to upgrade it, if I spend 30 experience, I'm going to have a 75% chance to upgrade. So let's go ahead and try that out. And it did not upgrade. So if I spend 35 experience, I'm going to have a 50% chance to upgrade. And now it's actually fully upgraded. So I'm assuming it did upgrade. And I just didn't notice the number go up. That could be the case. Uh, now, besides the big vroom vroom, you've got the BFE, but of course, and then the little vroom vroom is what you start off with. Now, taking a look at some of the other options. Now, first off, I gotta say, getting around this UI does not feel super good. I understand what they were going for with the panning camera, but it feels like to me if the camera was back further and gave a full view of all of the available selections at all times, it would be a lot more convenient for the user. Now for cannons, we've got our main cannon. We've got the big chubby. We've got tw twin 20 millimeters. And then just those three options. So same thing here with our main cannon. Uh, it's doing 550 damage right now. I can spend 10 XP for an 80% chance to upgrade. Lock and, load, and then you see now it's doing 700 damage and it's got a two second reload. Uh, 15 more XP for a 60% chance. No, no such luck. Let's try that again. And now it's 10 XP for an 80% chance. And that one's successful. Now our main cannon is doing 700 damage with a 2 second reload. Now taking a look at a few of the other options. We've got armor here. Full metal jacket. Steel hugs. The snuggle. Uh, what's the difference? Okay, the Snuggle fully upgraded is 2400. The Full Metal Jacket uh, is 2700, so let's go with that. And then here is one of the problems with the UI, is there's no way for me to scroll back out to select that secondary weapon, and that is where one of the challenges lie. Uh, you f it feels like there should be some sort of a back or out or some kind of even scroll feature. Right now, scrolled into the Endless board, I can't do anything but choose one of these Endless maps, and that doesn't feel quite right at all. So trying all the obvious choices and just not getting any option to go back out into a fuller view to choose one of the other cycles. Uh, this, I think, really would be completely remedied by just having that full screen zoomed all the way out. However, 
the only thing I can figure to do, sadly at this point, is restart the game. So let's get that done, and we'll pop back out at a full UI looking at all of the available options. So I've restarted the game, we're back out at a main type menu screen, so we've zoomed back out essentially, and now we can take a look at the secondary weapon, and you see we've got the choice of a machine gun, twin rockets, 25 XP to unlock those, a rocket pod, 250 XP, that seems pretty damn cool, and then back to the machine gun itself. So let's stick with the regular old machine gun and take a look at it. Now I did open the options menu earlier and it's another area where there's just nothing there. There really are no options, there's no video options. Uh, I'm assuming you would have to change any video options through the actual options files in the game's files, which that of course is not extremely convenient. Uh, all we have available here is music options. Now. Let's hop in to what makes the game really shine, and that is the actual gameplay. The gameplay, despite all of these other issues, is super, super fun. Now that combined with a full retail price of $4.99 US means that it's definitely a game that you could play and get a few hours of enjoyment out of, however I wouldn't expect any long-term replay value out of this particular title. So if you are just looking to pop in and try something out that's new and cheap and something a little different, this would be a fantastic game to check out or always keep an eye out during Steam sales. This one could end up going for very, very low. But at $4.99, there's no doubt that you'll have a couple of hours of replay value and a couple of hours of entertainment and enjoyment, but I would set your expectations right there and possibly not push any higher. Now, as with a traditional tower defense game that is action oriented, we've got our hero to play. Now, if we take a look through the various screens available here, we've got I is just our basic settings. We're gonna have to restart this one. Q would actually start the build menu up. T is gonna be a skill tree that you can go through. Now, this is a skill tree for this map we're in. So it's gonna restart after each individual map that you go in, and as you earn ammo and gas, you're going to be able to fill out this skill tree and take various different traits as you go through. Uh, as we take a look at it, there's uh, tank health, tank movement speed, turrets health, uh, tank damage, turret damage, uh, health regen. So, I mean, health regen would obviously be a great thing, particularly for those endless modes. And it goes all the way out to some buffs that are still really under the same basic flavor. More damage, more speed, more health. And that is going to be the cover of it. And then Y is going to take us back out to our regular uh, steering mode. So we do have some enemies coming in. We might not have to... Let's see if I can just take these out real quick. I was going to say we might not have to restart... There is no uh, grace period. As soon as you start the match, uh, expect the enemies to be coming. Now, as with some, I guess, hardcore tower defense games, if your tank dies or gets blown up through the course of this, then you are going to be game over. So, you want to make sure you stay alive. I think that's where those health and everything could be quite important. And also remember, this steers like a tank. So it's based off of which tracks you're facing and which way you're going to be going. Uh, with the aspect of kind of the hardcore mode, and if you die, it's all over, these guys are coming for you. They are not playing. They are going to kill you. So you're going to have to stay on the move the entire time. This is not a build it out and sit and watch it go kind of tower defense game. This is very much an action defense game. Let's see, a Tesla Tower. I've never tried that one yet. Let's throw a Tesla Tower out there and see exactly what it does. Now, the towers are really small. You can zoom on in on them and see uh, it's got a, you know, a gratifying animation going to it. Watch some of these big shots. I want to see this Tesla Tower going. Oh, wow. Seems like it's kind of big time damage there. There are some cool towers, there are also some cool guns. We'll try to get a few different towers placed here as I collect up the resources. As we do still have 
some enemies on their way here. See if I can drive. Now, as you see, I'm picking up gasoline and ammo. That's what we're going to build our towers or go through our skill tree with. But in addition to that, I'm picking up XP. So those question marks. Let's see, a Hellfire Tower and a Missile Turret. Let's try both of those. Oh, they're wrecking it. And you see that Tesla turret is taking a bunch of damage, which is just fine. Better it than me, you know what I'm saying? We're wrecking it up here. Now, as I said, the gameplay itself is super, super fun. Looking at everything except the gameplay, I probably would really have a hard time suggesting this game to anyone. But combined with it being super fun to play and only being or being less than five dollars US, it seems like it could be a decent choice for someone who's just looking to play something different and have a little bit of fun in the process. Let's see if we can't get the heck out of here as I'm taking all these shots. I'm gonna get wrecked quick, and uh, I'm not looking very healthy as it is. Let's see if we can't get through this here. Once again, if we die, it is game over. But we were able to complete it. And that is a just a short Tower Defense Tuesday look at Little Sherman. It's super fun. It really is lots of fun. I wish there was more maps. I wish there was more customization. And I was I just wish that there was more, basically, is I I would be would have been ecstatic to pay ten dollars for this game and have twice as much, three times as much content over what is currently available now. Now, with that in mind, this review key was provided to me by uh, Dabster, and I do appreciate that very much. And it's an awesome, fun little game that just feels like it's missing some stuff. However, if you see it on sale, or if you just want to try something out new, this one just might be right for you as far as something quick and easy and fun to jump right on in and get some games on. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to click that like button, please subscribe to the channel, and as always, if there's any Tower Defense games that you'd like to see reviewed on Tower Defense Tuesday, let me know down in the comments below. So thanks again, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.